Imagine a future where soldiers don't just rely on their eyes and ears, but get real-time battlefield data right in front of their eyes. Just like Iron Man. That future is already here. A US tech company has launched a groundbreaking augmented reality or AR glasses designed specifically for the military. These glasses are built to revolutionize how soldiers operate in the field. Today we'll break this down for you. What these AR glasses do, how they work, who's behind it, and what this means for the future of modern warfare. The company behind this innovation is Rivet Industries, a US-based tech firm. They've developed a military-grade AR system known as Hardspec, short for Hardened Specifications. These are not your regular smart glasses. These are designed specifically for high-risk, high-stress military and industrial environments. But what do these glasses actually do? Think of them as a portable battlefield assistant. They allow soldiers to see real-time information like maps, enemy positions, drone footage and communications, all without having to look down at a screen or paper map. The data is displayed right on the lens in front of the soldier's eyes. This helps them make faster decisions and respond to threats immediately. And these glasses aren't fragile. They're built to survive the heat, the dust, the rain. Basically the extreme conditions soldiers often face. So in short, hard-spec glasses combine the brains of a computer with the mobility and toughness of military equipment. The bigger trend here is military augmented reality. For the last few years, the US military has been investing billions into AR technology. One of the most ambitious programs is called IVAS, which stands for Integrated Visual Augmentation System. This launch is not just a one-off thing, it's part of a much bigger trend. For the last few years, the US military has been investing billions into AR technology. One of the most ambitious programs is called IVAS, which stands for Integrated Visual Augmentation System. This program started with Microsoft. Yes, the same Microsoft that makes Windows and Xbox. They used their HoloLens technology and customized it for combat use. The idea was to provide soldiers with night vision, thermal imaging, navigation, and live video, all through a single AR headset. But the project hit some bumps. Soldiers complained about eye strain, headaches, and performance issues. So recently, Microsoft handed over the hardware responsibilities to another company, Anduril Industries, founded by Palmer Luckey, who also created Oculus VR. Together, they're now fixing the issues and moving forward with production. So, Rivet's hard-spec glasses are coming into a space where demand is rising, and fast. The benefits of augmented reality for modern warfare are, quite frankly, game-changing. Let's talk about the real-world benefits of AR for the military. First up, situational awareness. A soldier wearing these glasses doesn't have to guess where the enemy is. With real-time maps and drone feeds, they know what's happening even behind walls. And then, communication. Instead of shouting over radios, commanders can silently relay information right onto a soldier's display, faster and more secure. Moving on to training and simulations. AR glasses are also useful in training. New soldiers can experience simulated battlefield conditions without real danger. Next, navigation. In tough terrain or urban warfare, Arkansas, guided navigation helps soldiers find paths quickly and avoid traps or ambushes. In short, it's like giving every soldier a personal command center right inside their glasses. Risks and ethical concerns. But with great technology comes great responsibility and also some concerns. First, there's the risk of over-reliance. What if the AR system fails or gets hacked in the middle of an operation? Soldiers need to maintain their traditional skills too. Second, there are privacy and mental health concerns. Constant data overload could lead to stress or cognitive fatigue. Will these glasses become a burden rather than a tool? And finally, there's the ethical dilemma. As warfare becomes more digital, are we moving toward a future where technology decides who lives or dies? This opens up debates about AI and autonomy in combat. These are questions the military and tech companies will need to answer, and soon. To wrap up, Rivet Industries' hard-spec AR glasses are a big leap in military technology. They're smart, tough, and designed to give soldiers a digital edge on the battlefield. 
But while the tech is impressive, we must also think critically about how it's used. As AR, AI and robotics become more common in military operations, the line between human decisions and machine input is blurring. The question is, are we ready? If you found this video informative, do like, share and subscribe. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about using AR in warfare?